What's going on everybody? 392 Blurred Lines coming at you with another video. I know it's been a while. It's been a while since my last video. Once again, still playing the waiting game. But in the meantime, while I'm waiting, I decided I would start doing a little something to my Chrysler. As you can see, I'm sitting in the I'm sitting in my Chrysler Cordoba right now. And um, getting ready to do a few things to it. The main thing I'm going to do, I'm going to change the ignition switch. I ordered an ignition switch. The ignition switch that's in here has been bad since I got it. It starts up fine, but it's supposed to be a spring action. Uh, the ignition is supposed to come back when you let go of it. This one doesn't, so you have to help it. So I decided I'd go ahead. Now would be the time to change it. It's getting cold out. I got out of the Taurus, decided I would get in the Chrysler because this has better heat. A lot better heat. That thing doesn't warm up very good. So I decided I'm going to drive my Chrysler this winter. I'm not worried about the, the snow and the, the salt and things like that. Here in Michigan, they put things on the road that eats up your cars, but it is what it is. So I decided I'm going to drive this this year, and in the process of driving it, I need to change a few things. So I ordered an ignition switch. Also, it has a set of door locks because the key to the ignition is the same key for the door lock. So I'll end up changing those as well, but not today. Maybe, I don't know. I also ordered a, this is a dimmer switch. You hear that? That's a dimmer switch that's on the floorboard of these older cars. That's where the dimmer switch is at. It's not on the turn signal. So older cars, it's on the floor. Well, I decided I'd put a new one on. It works fine. But since I'm gonna be changing all the lighting, I'm gonna put a new one on it. I also ordered a light switch for inside here. On this one, it works. But as far as the lights to adjust in your instrument cluster, it doesn't work so well there. You have to manipulate it a little bit to get the lights where you want them, and I don't like that. I also ordered four brand new halogen headlights that I will be changing out as well. Those should be arriving sometime today. So, but for now, I'm going to remove the steering wheel and I'm going to attempt to change the ignition switch. It's not like I've never changed one before, but some of these can be a little tedious. Hopefully this isn't the same way as GM. Hopefully Mopar is not the same way. I'm not exactly sure. I don't, I don't think it is, but I'm gonna find out. We're gonna find out together. So I'm going to take a 13, 16 socket Remove this bolt and um, see if we can't get this wheel off. I already pulled off the center piece, the center cap, thinking that it would pop off. But from what I see, it had a adhesive that was put inside it that held it in place. Now, whether this was taken off at one point or another, I don't know. But... This rubber inside here was this this adhesive sealant. This is what I'm going to use to put it back on. But this is what's on here to hold this in. So we're going to see if we can't get this off. Look like I got four Phillips heads, screws, the 1316s. I don't have a wheel puller. But I know back in the day the way we used to do it. I could take a small hammer, leave the nut on, not screw down tight, but just leave it on enough, grab the wheel and tap that nut and that wheel would come loose. County boys going through. So we're gonna try to get this thing off so we can get this ignition changed and um, see if we can make something happen today. Because uh, it's chilly out here. Well, it's warm in here now because I warmed it up little coffee to help warm me up but um 
I'm going to get you guys mounted up so you can see what I got going on here and see if we can't get this taken care of. So stick with me. Once again, excuse my absenteeism, but I have been absent for a while off the videos, but I got to get back into it because I got a lot of things that I want to post. And as you know, I'm, I'm still waiting on Operation Dirt stuff. I just picked up a oil pan gasket today. The oil pan that I ordered through Hughes Engines, um, the girdle was affecting the location of the oil pan. Brand new oil pan, couldn't use it because inside the oil pan, it was up against the girdle, so I couldn't put it in. So I took my original oil pan, the one that I had sent out to Pennsylvania that was fabricated. I had to have that piece welded back on and I got all that done. Oil pan is painted. Oil pan looks like nothing was ever done to it in a sense. So we're gonna see if we can get that put on maybe today if I can get the garage warmed up enough to go inside there and do some work. But with all that being said, we're going to go ahead. We're going to get at this. First time coming to the channel. Welcome. So let's get get you mounted up so that you can see what I got going on here. And um, we're going to keep it moving. All that being said, stick with me. 392 Blurred Lines coming at you. Peace out. All right. So first, what we're going to do is see if we can get this nut off of here. Actually. It might be easier. Let me get that out of the way first. It might be easier to take this horn mechanism off first. Then I can get down there to that nut a little easier. I was inside a little while ago. I was watching, well, actually trying to find a video that shows the removing of the steering wheel because I like I said it had it had this thing on here in the center and I thought it would pop on and pop off but when I peeled it it had that seal in there that was holding it on so that let me know I gotta reseal it but I thought that there'd be a video pertaining to that somewhere on YouTube but there was none. So anybody out there who wants to change the steering wheel, factory steering wheel, or just remove it off of a 79 Chrysler Cordoba, this is probably what you're going to end up with. Just pull it off. Because that's what I ended up with. Now, I don't believe that there's bolts behind these spokes holding that piece on it doesn't feel like well it feels like okay okay what we got going on here oh also oh, all removes like that all right all right interesting okay i see how it removes all right let's see if we you know what, probably wouldn't be a bad idea would be to remove battery post. I probably should remove the battery post to remove this power, but I'm gonna do the right thing and I'm not going to. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this loose right here maybe and I'm going to take this ground loose and get this out of the way all right okay now I might be able to Extension here for this. That is 
not the best. Well, maybe I can get it off like that. Because this one is a little bit, it's not right. I can't get down far enough because it's up against the wheel. So we're going to put this on like so. Go in here like so. There. So we give it a little whack. <clears throat> My goodness. Boy, that baby's on there tight. She is on there tight. Let's see. There we go. My goodness. They didn't want that to come off. That nut is on there that tight. I might need a steering wheel puller. To get that wheel off. I might not be able to go old school. Like I said, old school, we could hit this nut. That's all I can make a little noise. I ain't heard before. heard that before and it's not like the wheel is loose huh all right huh no let's see here as I said I don't have my wheel puller I don't have a wheel puller. I thought I did. But I don't. So, I'm going to have to improvise. And I think I'm going to go old school. But I want to know. What is that noise? You know, it doesn't go in that. I ain't never made that sound before. So I know good and well. I didn't just start doing that because I loosened that up, did it? Let me tighten it back down, see what happens. I was still doing it. Well, you know what? I'm going to leave it alone. For now. If I get this wheel off, I might find out what the problem is, if it's a problem. So, I don't like it, because it ain't been doing it. Oh, no, I don't, I don't know if I can go that. I got to find out why that's doing that. before as they would say let's get at it I'm gonna get my man I don't believe that see now that's gonna bother me if it does that while I'm driving that's really gonna bother me because I don't like noise let me go get my my, my my hammer and see if I can't whack this and get it to come loose and uh, I'll be right back at you in a minute. All right, YouTube, I'm back. As you can see, I didn't have a wheel puller. So I had to make something. It took me a piece of stainless steel tubing, drilled me a couple holes in it, and I put me a couple bolts down in here, tighten this baby down, and that broke, that broke it loose. That broke it loose. So now, we should be able to get the wheel off of here. See, I, I'll always try to find another way to do something without having to drive 20 miles to go rent a tool from down the auto zone or wherever the case may be. 
just to get something done. Oh, and I found out what that noise is. That noise, that gear handle. All right, so we're gonna pull this wheel off here, maybe. Maybe. Oh, we got screws falling. Don't lose none of them. Okay, what's the deal here? What is something holding me up? What's the hold up now? See nothing. It can't be nothing. Just gotta, just gotta tickle it a little bit. Wait a minute. What is? there's something down in there. Now, I've never taken one of these off before. In the year old Chrysler Cordoba. But it looks as though there's some kind of a, a ring down in there. There shouldn't be. Let's try something out. Let's, let's put our old homemade tool on there. See, like I said, I cut drilled me a couple holes in it. Had to make them big enough because uh, it wasn't centered the way it should have been. I took me some lug nuts for spacers. Yeah, I'm ingenuity. I like to use some ingenuity when I do things. And I just use them as some spacers to uh, make it happen. So now let's see what we got here. How come? How come this year rascal ain't doing his job? Matter of fact, I won't take this jacket off. It'll get a little bit warm. Maybe I don't have to go back outside for a minute. All right. All right. Get our old 916s here. See if we can't torculate down on it a little bit. Make sure it's straight. I know somebody laughing at my Mickey Mouse fabrication action going on right here, but I tell you what, it worked, and I didn't have to go rent a tool to get it to work. All right, just gonna do it this trip. Some Mickey Mouse action right there. He would have gave me all kind of fits. But we got him off. Now, see what we can see down in this, down in this piece. See what we got going on down up in here. Let's turn me around here. All right, let's see what kind of action we got. So, looks like. Looks like I'm gonna have to take out these three screws here. First, I gotta take this loose. I might have to go down here and take this wire loose so I can pull this out far enough. So I can pull this out far enough to clear this to lay it over to pull. 
See, that look like a two-piece. Yeah, when I take these three bolts here loose, them three screws here loose, this piece will come loose so I can get back in here to this ignition. Okay, I got you. I got you. Because I doubt I can pull this wire that hooks down up under here. It's a long little, a long plug that plugs in to all these wires. I still never did disconnect the battery. And I'll probably do the right thing and not disconnect it. Well, let's see what happens. Let's take these loose. Let's see what kind of action we get. That's probably best. Oh. going on with him. Hold on here. Let me, let me set this down so I can put some, some, some force to it. Okay. Let's see what we got going on here. All right. She come loose now. I don't know why that was so hard to come up off of there. It's not going to be that hard when I put it back on. Oh, put a little grease on it just in case I ever had to take it off again. Because I might... I'm not going to take it off again to change my steering wheel. I like, I like that factory look. I'm keeping that on there. I'm not, I'm not changing that. All right, now, if I, if I get shocked, it's because that battery is still connected. So we're going we're gonna to play it nice and safe. We're going to play nicely. some sort we're gonna just put that right there keep that for safekeeping you might need that now evidently that is not holding on that handle yeah it is I could have been wrong was wrong. It was holding on that handle. Put him up there so we don't lose him. And if we do lose him, we'll put him back on with a little duct tape. Alright. Oh. Looks like I don't have to hook up. Unhook them wires down there. Alright. Alright, let's take those other three loose. See what kind of action we got. Uh, oh my goodness. Oh. All right. Let's see if we can't tickle it a little bit. Ah, that did it. Drop them down in there because that's where they'll remain. And I might need them. All oh, right, I had a phone call there. Wife calling me. Wanted to touch base and see if I'm still hard at it, which I am. What's this for? Huh. So I'll put that up there. One more. Let's tickle it. There 
There we go. I hope somebody's paying attention to what I'm doing here because if I can't get this back together, I'm going to need somebody to let me know where I went wrong. All right, let's see here. Okay, now what's next? What's next? What am I what am I missing? Where am I missing? That's a that's a bearing down in there. Oh, I see what we got going on. Oh, that's one of them. That's got one of them clips on it right there. Do I got one in pair of pliers? I do believe I do. Let me go see if I can locate that pair of pliers. All right, look like we do have a pair of channel locks for that. You will need definitely a pair of pliers with uh, these thingamabobs on the end. And they come in different sizes. These here are a little bit bigger than what I need. So we're gonna have to see what size we need. Come in 39 thousandths of an inch, 47 thousandths, and 74 thousandths. So I don't have my calipers on me to find out which ones are which. So we just gonna have to uh, play it by ear here. We're gonna just snatch one off, snatch one out, and see if it fits down here in one of these little holes because there's two little holes here for that. That's what's that's what's holding that on. So let's see if we can looks like it might be about a I'ma say that's a 47 thousandths. Of course we got all different kind here. We we got some that's got a 90 degree angle on them. Yes, indeed, we sure do. Let's see which one we want. We don't want the 90 degree angle, but we do want a pair to fit. That looks like that might be the one right there. Oh, I need, I'll be darned. That's the one right there. Double check it. Yeah, because the other one's too little. The other one must be the 39,000. Okay. So, let's see if we can't break these down. And change those out. I don't know why I bought these. I bought these for some purpose a while back. I may have only used them once. So, it looks like I'm going to get a little use out of them today. Let's take that out there like so. Just snub her down a little bit. Snub her down right there, good enough. To the other side. Yeah, it's good to have the right tooling to do a particular job because if you ain't got the right tooling to do a job, it makes a job so much harder. Not only harder, it takes longer to get the job done. And I like to get the job done. I don't like playing around all day and wasting my precious time. This time is valuable. All right, we're gonna put them right back in there and save them for later because we might need them at another date. I'm sure I'll put them somewhere in the garage and next time I need them, I'll never be able to find them. You guys be sure to let me know what I did with them. We're gonna put those up there. All right, let's see what we got here. There we go. It just slipped out of place. Push it back in a little bit. Now we should be able to grab it completely. Oh, I feel that there's a spring behind it. Spring loaded. That's what we got going on. Well, that's a lot easier than that. The way a GM is made 
GM are very, very difficult when it comes to removing one of these clips because the clips are different than these. These here, I can grab these and pull these off real simple like. But on a GM, you gotta have a special tool to compress that part that goes on there. See, something as simple as that can hold you up. So we're gonna sit them up there on that cracked dashboard and see if we can't pull them out here. There we go. I don't know what I just did. I feel like everything just came loose. Hopefully I ain't gotta take everything completely out of here. Oh, just far enough to, oh, no, would you look at there? Oh, we getting somewhere now. This is what I was talking about in GM. These are different. These are definitely different. See, this is what locks, locks it. Still got power. This is what locks the um, steering. This thing right here. That right there. That's what locks the steering. Locks the steering wheel so your steering wheel doesn't move. I like to have that out of there. I might not. I gotta put it back in, don't I? Well, if I took that out, I ain't gotta put him back in if I took him out. You take that out, and that steering wheel doesn't lock. You know what? That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take that out, and I'm not gonna put it back in, because I don't like my steering wheel locking. I like to be able to turn that steering wheel without having the key in the ignition. With this, you gotta turn that ignition just so that you can break that steering wheel loose. I'm not gonna put that back in there. That's what I'm not gonna do. Yes, indeed. So, we're gonna remove this, and then you should be able to get back behind there to remove that silk. I gotta, I gotta remove that to remove that cylinder, if I'm not mistaken. It's been a while since I've done, done this. But, I know it's not rocket science. That was another thing I wanted to check too. How come my light up here's not working? I got all this apart. Oh, come on, let's take a look a little bit. tight. I don't want to round that off. Actually, let me get a bigger screwdriver because we don't want to round that off. All right. Much bigger. That should do the job. If that don't do the job, nothing will. Oh yeah, it fits nicely. And we will give it a little tickle. more clips and I'm getting dirty my hands are getting dirty out here messing around today let's see if we can get one of these clips off here that's number one actually I need a small screwdriver Okay. Hello. 
little C clip. That's something I didn't know was there. And then we have that little compression spring. And then this thing here will come completely out of the way. All right, put them up there so we can get the dash all greasy now. Boy, would you look at all of this stuff going on down up in here. All right. Let's remove him. And uh, from the looks of it, push a button, ignition comes out. All right. Let me, uh, let me get a, let me get a rag and uh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna show you guys what button we're gonna push. Should release this ignition and send this thing right out of here. All right, all right. So let's see if we can't push that button. Here we are. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's see if I can get you posted. Let's show you what we got going on here. So it looks like it's just gonna be this button right here. Yep. Push that button there. It should release that ignition. Just like so. Yeah, the problem was having with this thing. It was not, it was not releasing. It would not go back. See, it feels. It feels. Okay, that feels okay, but well, we're going to find out when I get this new one out of the package. I would like to believe that this was the problem. We're going to find out. So, put him up there. See if we can't get the new one out and I hope this wasn't what was sticking the ignition itself. It's greasy in there. I hope it's not the ignition switched the ignition. See, that's that thing I want to remove. And you know I'm going to remove it. Maybe. If it's not. I shouldn't have no problem removing it if it doesn't affect other things remaining stationary. Does this whole thing come out? I do believe it does. That's for that buzzer. When that key's not in there, or when that key's in there, you open that door. Let me check it. Let me open the door. Now I'm gonna act as though the key's in there. Yep. That's exactly what that's for. So if anybody Wants to eliminate the noisy buzzer, you can either take it out from under your dash or go in here and bust that little <laughs> that little clip off. However you want to do it. It's your rig. Do it what you want. Okay. We're gonna shut that door. It's chilly out there. And we're gonna get the new ignition and we're gonna give it a give it a whirl. 
before we button all this back up. A little dirty right there. And I did want to find out how come this light, there should be a light inside here. I'm going to have to find out how come that little light doesn't work. Because I want that light in there. If there's one in it. It should be. Look like I can see a wire. Look like I can see a wire going up to this. Oh, let's see what we got here. Oh, got that little thing in the way. So how do you bypass? That shouldn't be in the way of that. Uh, it is too. That back plate in there is up against that. So how do you? Oh well, we'll we'll work with that later. Right now we gotta just get this ignition in here and, and see how this thing is gonna fluctuate, how it's gonna work. Gotta see if it's gonna work. And so that I know that all this labor wasn't in vain. Okay. You ready to get your mounted up and we'll see what happens. Okay, let's see what we got here. Pull out the old hedge clippers. They give you a nice new, new uh, lock cylinder. Where's this phone? Mud something. Mud's classic parts and restoration. Mud's classic parts and restoration. All right, Sunny Valley, California. Okay, as I said. Got some new door, door lots. And uh, they probably won't get put on today. But we're gonna try to get this put in here and see if it solves my problem. Mm, nice new fresh pair of keys. We got here. Uh, nothing of importance. Don't need that. Alrighty. Oh, that feels awfully free. And the other one, and it feels awfully free. Let's see what that one felt like. Did it feel that? That free. I think that's one. This one here. It feels, it feels pretty free, but right there, right there feels kind of sticky right there. That's that position of starting right there. And the other one, at the position of starting. Oh, there's nothing. I mean, it's very, very loose. Let's see what happens. Let's slide it into place and see what there happens there. Should be able to put it right in here. Maybe. Maybe. What we got going on here? What is this? What? What does that do? Absolutely nothing. Oh, that's for that key buzzer. Ah, oh, can't have the key in there when you go to put that in there. That key's in there. I mean, that little switch that makes that buzzer noise. Remove that. It goes in. You can't put that in. Put your key in. Gotta have your key out. Make sure you push that little button. Slide them in. Just like so. Line them up. Little pin pops out. He's in. That buzzer action. All right. You know what? That thing still feels. This 
no way that's going to come back. It feels like it's... It's sticky. It wasn't the ignition. That was bad. We got something else going on here. We got something else going on. And I believe... It wasn't the ignition cylinder. I think it's the ignition itself. Are you kidding me? Because I think it's just as, as sticky. Turn the heat off. Right there. It's, it's, and there's nothing restricting anything. ignition everybody there's nothing wrong with that ignition evidently it's that it's that doggone contraption right there so if that's the problem what must I do to fix that problem change it you mean to tell me I'm going to have to go back through all this work on another day to change that? I don't like the idea of that. I don't even like the sound of that. Because that is sticky. That's sticky right there. Could it possibly just need to be taken out, disconnected, and sprayed off with a little cleaner, a little grease action? Huh. Well, I guess what I can do is... Too big. Let's see if these are tight. Oh, those are pretty loose. I got all these screws. I'm not going to know which one went in which hole. I guess they are a little different. Okay. Let's see what we got here. I'll take this loose. Snatch it out. See what happens. Oh, where everything giving way. Oh, I'll never get it back together. You know what? Let me pull. Let me pull this ignition back out of here. Get him out the way. Get him completely out the way, since he's not the problem. just in case that screw wanted to get silly and fall down into the pits of the unknown. Okay. Once again, battery is, battery is connected. So let's see what kind of action we got. Oh, oh, that is hard. That is really, 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 really Sure. It should not be that hard. All right, how far can we pull this out? Uh, 
All righty. Why don't you look at this? Tell you what, he is definitely. I wonder. store has one of these on their shelf probably not I doubt it oh there is that little wire that goes up to that so there is a light up there okay must be a bulb in there the bulb was probably blown out huh I don't know screw up there. Oh, that's how you, that's how you take that out without destroying it. A little screw up there. Remove that whole thing. Okay. Gotcha. I need to find out how come that ball doesn't work. But, I'm getting sidetracked here. I need to find out why this thing is so sticky. And, if they have one on the shelf. So, I'm sure it's the wrong one. From the looks of it, that wire runs all the way down, and it looks like it could be a like it could be a nightmare I'm trying to get down there to it. All right. Well, tickle me Elmo. Hmm. Well. could always put it back together and pretend like I never seen it. Or I never messed with it. That is that is Still just as on. Oh, isn't that something? Now, if I pull that out, what happens? Springs fly everywhere. Huh. Let's pull it out. doubt this little weak spring has anything to do with the returning of that ignition. I am going. 
going to cut this off since it's not a good idea to remove it because I need this material here to keep everything stationary. tip of it. That's blocking this thing up here. Okay, I'm not getting anything done like this. So, I'm going to just put this right back like it was because I know that this is the problem. And if this is the problem, that problem ain't gonna get solved overnight. Because shipping wars are terrible right now. The shipping crisis is terrible. So this will not get fixed overnight. And the way things are going, it may not get fixed for the next month or two. Because it probably comes from over in China. Probably made in Japan. I don't know. Wouldn't doubt it. It's electronic. So I wouldn't doubt it. Oh, but I know that's what the issue is. That thing does not move like it should. So, being that it doesn't move like it should. I just bought this whole system for nothing. Didn't even need it. Oh well. It'd have a new one in it. So, we're going to put it back together. And it is what it is. Well, let's get her done. All right. So, just got hold of the auto store, and they can have one shipped in tomorrow morning. So, I'm going to leave this disaster. <clears throat> I'm going to leave this disaster as it is. I'm not, I'm not putting this back together just to take it apart another day. I'm leaving it all just like it is. And I will come back at it tomorrow. And if I don't forget how to put it all back together, <laughs> I'll put it back together tomorrow. So... This is going to be a wrap for this video. Next time you see me, Chrysler going to be doing something else. But as for this, I'm done with this for today. Now, I might go in the garage and mess with this oil pan now that I have a gasket. Probably not. <laughs> so, I don't know. I hate it's chilly out here. I'm, you see, I don't have a coat on. I'm just going to finish up this video and I'm going on in the crib. And I might end up going somewhere later on, but it won't be in this. So, with all that being said, first time coming to the channel, once again, I say welcome. Come back again. And we'll try to give you something else. But until then, 392 Blurred Lines coming at you. He's out.